entropy H equals the log of the number of likely outcomes or states. If I flip a coin n times, two to the n things can happen. If it's a fair coin, they're all equally probable. The log, they're all equally likely. The log of two to the n is n. So the entropy of n coin flips is n bits. But what if the coins come up heads with probability p? p equals 0.1. Now what's likely to happen is I'm going to get a sequence of ones and zeros, or if you wish, heads and tails which has 10% ones and 90% zeros. Those, that's what's likely. Why is it likely? Law of large numbers. The proportion of ones will be roughly p. All right, how many such sequences are there? Well, for that example, Uh, we have log of n choose n p. That is, sequences of length n on which n p of your terms are ones and the others are zero. But this turns out to be n h of p, uh, where h of p is minus p log p. It's the entropy minus 1 minus p log 1 minus p. So, the entropy of n coin flips IID that's independent, identically distributed coin I won't write coin flips, is N H of P. Hmm. By the way, that immediately gives you data compression. I had N bit, N bit sequence of coin flips with parameter P. And yet, I can narrow things down. I say it's overwhelmingly likely that there are roughly n p heads in it, and the number of sequences with n p heads is two to the n h of p. The log of that is n h of p. So basically, I have a description for the outcome of these n coin flips that's only n h bits long, and I have some probability of error because maybe it was a freaky sequence but with probability of error nearly zero I have a description that uh, not of n bits that's brute force but of n h bits which will suffice to describe the original sequence and I chose p equals 0.1 because h of p, h of 0.1 is a half. And so that allows you to take a million bits of coin flips and compress them to 500,000 bits. If indeed the coin flips have parameter p equals 0.1. By the way, this comes up nicely too. This notion of what entropy is. Uh, uh, what 
it's the entropy of a black hole. Who knows? We know it exactly. Uh, or rather, I should, by we, I'm including the people who really know it, the physicists. It's one bit per square plank. A black hole has a surface area of an event horizon, and that surface area can be measured in square meters or whatever. A plank uh, is a unit of length you get by combining the three basic physical constants, gravitational, etc. And it's extremely small, way small. 10 to the minus 33, I think, uh, uh, meters. And uh, it's just amazing that the entropy of a black hole is precisely one bit per square plank. It makes you think that nature really is nice. But what, is, why, what do I mean by entropy? Well, the entropy of a black hole is essentially the log of the number of ways that you can make it. So imagine a high density uh, um, electromagnetic field, so high that it crushes itself into a black hole. Well, there are a lot of ways you could have configured this electromagnetic uh, occurrence. Um, but uh, we'll just look at the number of distinguishable ways. The log of the number of distinguishable ways you can create a black hole is the entropy of the black hole. Let me tell you how communication theory led to information theory. Uh, you first get the Sparks, Marconi, and then uh, you can transmit information. And uh, eventually, um, people found that they could send electromagnetic waves, frequencies, so they send uh, this wave at this frequency and receive it. No information. If they modulated the shape of this carrier wave, uh, changed its amplitude, then even when you add some noise, you could probably do pretty well. That's called amplitude modulation. Well, that had problems because with spark noise, 1920 or whatever, uh, you had these ticks, um, terrible decoding problems in trying to find out what the message was. So they had frequency modulation. And there you change. Now that's not subject to high impulse noise because this was constant amplitude. Okay. So that would be position modulation impulse. You know, a number people kept trying to come up with modulation schemes. There's a set of all signals you can send, and they tried to come up with a way to choose signals that were distinguishable. And the answer to that is simply to 